Happy Eaters Lesson of Harmony. Please subscribe. So you don't miss a new story. In the heart of a lush, emerald forest, there lived a charming and colorful bird known as Bee, the Bee Eater. With her vibrant plumage of azure, emerald, and sunset orange, she was a sight to behold. Bee was not just beautiful but also blessed with a gift, an insatiable appetite for adventure. The Forbidden Garden One sunny morning, as Bee flew through the forest, a soft hum caught her attention. It was the alluring buzz of the Forbidden Garden, a place where bees gathered to dance around blossoms dripping with nectar. Bee had heard stories about this enchanted garden from her elders. They warned her never to enter, for it was said to be guarded by a fearsome serpent. But Bea's curiosity knew no bounds. She yearned to taste the sweet nectar that fueled her dreams and inspired her flights. With her heart pounding and wings trembling, she ventured into the Forbidden Garden, its beauty overwhelming her senses. She dipped her long, slender beak into a blooming flower and tasted the ambrosial nectar for the first time. It was a sensation like no other, and it left her craving for more. Days turned into weeks, and Bee became a frequent visitor to the Forbidden Garden. Each day, she ventured deeper into the heart of the garden, savoring nectar from different blossoms. She couldn't resist the allure of the place, and the thrill of defying the warnings only made the nectar taste sweeter. However, as Bee reveled in her newfound paradise, the garden began to change. The once vibrant blossoms started to wither, and the soft hum of bees grew fainter. Bea's fellow forest creatures noticed the garden's decline and wondered what was causing it. One day, while Bee was deep in the garden, she saw something that made her heart sink. The bees were working tirelessly, but their hives were nearly empty. She realized that her greed for nectar had disrupted the delicate balance of the garden. Guilt gnawed at her, and she knew she had to make amends. Bee decided to leave the Forbidden Garden and find a way to restore what she had taken. She spread the word among the forest animals about the importance of preserving the garden and its inhabitants. Together, they embarked on a journey to replenish the garden, planting new flowers and ensuring the bees had enough time to recover. Through their collective efforts, the Forbidden Garden gradually regained its vitality, and the bees thrived once more. Bee had learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of her actions and the importance of respecting the natural world. Her transformation into a symbol of wisdom and harmony was only beginning, and her journey continued as she shared her experiences with others, inspiring them to protect and nurture the wonders of their forest home. The Serpent's Lament As Bee continued to feast on the nectar, she noticed a flickering movement in the shadows. It was the serpent, its emerald scales glistening in the dappled sunlight. Instead of attacking, the serpent began to speak in a sorrowful tone. It shared its side of the story, revealing that it guarded the garden not to harm anyone but to protect the delicate ecosystem within. The serpent, whose name was Silas, explained that he had been the guardian of the Forbidden Garden for generations. His ancestors had made a sacred pact with the bees to ensure the prosperity of the garden. They had come to understand that their survival was intertwined with the well-being of the garden's inhabitants. Silas's voice quivered with emotion as he recounted the days when the garden was on the brink of destruction due to overharvesting by other creatures who had ignored the balance of nature. He had taken up the role of protector to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. With a heavy heart, Silas shared how the garden had been flourishing until Bea's arrival. He revealed that the garden's ecosystem was fragile, and her relentless feasting had thrown it into disarray. The bees were struggling to keep up with the demands, and the delicate flowers were losing their luster. Tears welled up in Bea's eyes as she listened to Silas's lament. She felt a deep sense of remorse for her actions. The serpent, whom she had feared, was not her enemy but a guardian of nature's beauty. She understood that her curiosity had disrupted the harmony of the garden and put its inhabitants in peril. Determined to right her wrong, Bee promised Silas that she would do everything in her power to restore the garden to its former glory. She would also help educate others in the forest about the importance of respecting the delicate balance of nature. Together, Bee and Silas devised a plan to nurture the garden back to health. They enlisted the help of the other forest creatures, who joined in with enthusiasm. They planted new flowers, provided shelter for the bees, and even learned from the bees themselves about the art of pollination. Slowly but surely, the Forbidden Garden began to recover. As seasons passed, Bee and Silas became unlikely friends, united by their dedication to preserving the garden's beauty and balance. Their partnership became a symbol of harmony between creatures that had once been wary of each other. And as they worked together, the forest flourished, becoming a testament to the importance of understanding, cooperation, 
and the profound wisdom that can be found in the unlikeliest of places. The Bee Eater's Legacy As Bee and Silas worked tirelessly to restore the Forbidden Garden, word of their efforts spread throughout the forest. Other creatures, inspired by their commitment to preserving nature's delicate balance, joined in the endeavor. The once forbidden garden became a symbol of hope and cooperation, with animals of all kinds working together to nurture the ecosystem. B, the once reckless bee eater, had transformed into a wise and humble guardian of the forest. Her feathers, once vibrant but tainted with guilt, now shimmered with the radiance of redemption. She had learned that her actions, whether destructive or restorative, had the power to shape the world around her. Under BEA's guidance, the garden flourished like never before. It burst into a riot of colors, its fragrant blossoms attracting not only bees but a dazzling array of pollinators. The forest animals marveled at the transformation, and the harmony that had returned to the garden resonated throughout the entire ecosystem. One day, a grand assembly of creatures from the forest gathered in the heart of the garden. B, standing alongside Silas the serpent, addressed the assembly. She spoke of her journey of self-discovery, her initial folly, and the invaluable lessons she had learned. She emphasized the importance of respecting the delicate balance of nature and the interconnectedness of all living beings. The assembly echoed BEA's sentiments and made a solemn pact to protect the garden and its inhabitants. They vowed to teach future generations the wisdom they had gained from their experiences, ensuring that the harmony of the forest would endure. As the season cycled on, the garden remained a haven of beauty and balance. It became a place of education, where young birds, bees, and other forest inhabitants learned the essential lessons of cooperation and conservation. The legacy of Bee, the once curious bee-eater, lived on, not only in the flourishing garden but also in the hearts of all who had been touched by her transformation. She had shown them that even in the face of mistakes and recklessness, redemption and wisdom were attainable through understanding and cooperation. And so, the tale of Bee, the bee-eater, became an enduring metaphor for the capacity of every individual to learn from their actions, heal the world around them, and inspire positive change. In the forest, her story served as a reminder that, just as the garden had been restored through unity and wisdom, so too could the world find healing and harmony through the efforts of those who cared deeply for its well-being. The End Don't forget to subscribe, 